What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out a brand new e-bike from Tizius. The one that we have here today is called the C8 and I have to say this is probably one of the most beautiful e-bikes that I got to see up until now. We get a super clean look, something that I haven't actually seen on any bike before. If you look close enough you're going to notice that we don't have any cables anywhere. So we don't have any brake cables, we don't have any cables going to the lights, we don't have any cables going to the motor, no cables at all. So that's why we get this super clean look on this bike. So definitely one of my favorite looking bikes out there. Aside from looking so good, this bike also has some features that I haven't actually seen on any other bike before. So we're gonna start with the weight and the frame. So the frame of this bike is made out of carbon fiber and the entire bike weights 15 kilos. So a very light bike, unlike many, many other e-bikes that I could try in the past, because as you know, e-bikes aren't exactly light. But yes, this is actually light. You can take this up the stairs, you can carry this wherever you want. So a very light um, bike because of that carbon fiber frame. Now, one of my favorite features for this bike, and this is in fact a feature that I haven't seen on any other bicycle, I kind of wish I would have this system on my motorcycle. So in the rear light, we have a millimeter wave radar system, and basically on the screen here, we'll talk about the screen in just a second, but basically on the screen here, you're going to be able to see the cars, motorcycles, or other bicycles that are around you. So this makes riding much, much safer because this way you kind of know what's around you, well, what's behind you basically at all times. So very, very important system in my opinion. Now the bike will also vibrate and make sounds, but that's all customizable when you have a car um, getting close to you. So a very, very interesting um, safety feature for this bike. And as I said, I kind of wish this um, would become available on more bikes and more vehicles. The bike is powered by a 250 watt mid-drive motor. So the motor on this bike is actually located right here. With many e-bikes that I got to try in the past, the motor is located in the rear wheel there, but that's not the case with this one. The bike is also using a torque sensor. So every time you pedal, the bike will sense how hard or how softly you push that pedal. And you're always going to get exactly the amount of power that you require. The C8 here, it's also using a belt drive, so not a chain like most bikes out there. So there are a lot of advantages to having a belt drive when compared to a chain drive. So first of all, you're not going to have to clean that, you're not going to have to oil that, and you're not going to get that extra noise from the chain. So the ride, it's always nice and quiet. Now, the main disadvantage to having a belt drive, but for other bikes, this doesn't apply to this bike, because most other bikes that have a belt drive, the main disadvantage is the fact that you only have one gear. Well, that is not the case with this bike. So I was very, very happy to see that. So in the rear hub there, we actually have a system that has three auto gears. So as you pedal, as you increase your speed, it will actually shift gears inside that um, hub there. So very, very different than all the other e-bikes that I got to try that have a belt drive. So now you don't have that problem where you cannot go fast enough because you do have three gears. So very unique compared to all the other bikes that I got to try up until now. Moving on to brakes, well, as you'd expect, the bike is equipped with hydraulic disc brakes on the front and on the back, and the stopping power is really good in pretty much all situations. I haven't had any situation where I felt that the bike needs more stopping power. So really good stopping power. And I'm also very happy to report that the brakes don't make any noise whenever you are riding, whenever you are braking, and so on. So overall, a very quiet ride. The battery pack on this bike is located in the frame here. You can barely see that you actually have a battery pack and this can also be removed. Now, unlike many e-bikes that I got to try in the past, you don't need any keys to remove that. So all you have to do is go in the screen here and you can remove the battery pack this way. So you can charge this at home. You don't necessarily have to charge it in the bike. As for the range on one charge, well, the manufacturer says that you can get up to 100 kilometers on one charge. But that really depends how you're riding, where you're riding, the temperature outside, how heavy you are, if you're going up hills or not. So it really depends how you're riding, but you could get up to 100 kilometers on one charge. Not to mention the battery pack is charged pretty fast as well. Moving on to the seat, of course, the seat is also adjustable in height like any other bicycle out there. However, to adjust this, um, you actually need one of those keys that comes in the box, um, like an Allen key, I think um, they're called, that comes in the box um, with the bike. So that's how you adjust this in height. So you definitely want to do that at home before you go for a ride. 
because you're not going to be able to adjust the height on the go. The bike is also equipped with a front and of course a rear light. So in that rear light, as I said earlier, we have that radar um, system and the rear light is very bright. It can be seen during the day and of course super bright for nighttime riding and the same goes for that front light. The front and rear lights can also turn on and off by themselves depending where you're riding, how dark it is and so on. And the same kind of goes for the screen. So the screen brightness um, can be adjusted automatically. So if you're riding at night, of course, it's not going to be super blind, uh, bright to blind you. But if you're riding on a super bright day, it will be very bright. And even on a day like today, because it is super bright out, I can clearly see the screen. I wish more e-bikes would have screens as bright as this one. Moving on to the handlebar, well the handlebar here is nice and wide, so whenever you're riding you don't feel cramped at all, the grips here don't seem to move. Then we have uh, the brake lever, so the front and rear brakes, and as I said there are no cables coming out of those levers, so they are almost looking like they float on that um, handlebar. So very very cool uh, design. On the right hand side here we have kind of like the only button available on the bike, so you'd power on the the bike that way that's also used as a fingerprint scanner so that's kind of like the security for the bike so someone doesn't just go on it um, because you can have um, your fingerprint as the key and that also acts as a horn the horn sound can be customized from um, the bike's menu and that's how it sounds all right so in the center of the handlebar here we have our five inch screen and this is very very different than all the other e-bikes that i got to try in the past i kind of wish that all e-bikes would have um, a screen and a system an operating system like this one so first of all the bike is um, connected to 4g at all times so you can kind of see where the bike is uh, you can keep track of it and uh, so on you can also get updates for it now keep in mind that this one is a prototype so i wasn't able to take full advantage of all the features of this bike mostly because whoever tested this bike previously kind of left the bike locked to their account so i wasn't able to install the app on my phone to pair this bike with uh, my phone so i'm kind of missing on um, a few features but i did get to try certain things um, with it so first of all the the bike can also display google maps and it can basically give you directions so you don't need to take out your phone you can just have everything on the bike screen here of course you're going to be able to see the speed uh, those features with the radar um, that i mentioned earlier so you can constantly see if you have cars behind you to your side and so on so that's definitely a safety feature. You can see the battery and how many kilometers you have left on one charge. And lastly, the riding experience. So the riding experience on this bike is very different than most other e-bikes that I got to try in the past. Compared to all the other e-bikes that I got to try that um, use a belt drive, this one is very different because we have those um, auto three gears. So it doesn't seem like you're stuck at the same speed at all times. You can actually get this bike to about 35 kilometers an hour if you pedal um, fast enough of course now depending where you're buying this um, it may be locked to a certain speed due to regulation so for example um, here in um, eu this will probably be locked to 25 kilometers an hour when it becomes available for sale and other regions may have other um, speed limitations as well i don't believe this one has a speed limit because um, as i said this is a prototype so it's not the complete version of this bike this will probably become much better by the time it makes it um, to the market so the c8 here is definitely an e-bike like no other definitely my favorite safety feature for this particular bike is that um, radar system that we have in the back there because i haven't seen anything like that on any other bike so it makes riding much much safer as always i'll leave some links in the video description so you can check out this bike and i'm definitely looking forward for the, this bike to be available on the market all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one